In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook pixel and how to install it on your WordPress website. And I'm going to show you that step by step. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Antoine Dupont. And if you're new to me or this channel, we talk all things marketing to help you grow your business. So let's get right into it. I often get this question, um, you know, I've heard of the Facebook pixel, but how do I do it? It's complicated and all this. So I'm going to show you step by step how you do it. So before we start, we need to make several assumptions. Uh, the first assumption is that you do have um, a Facebook page uh, because this is the only place where you can generate a pixel or create a pixel and then install it on the website. So that's number one. The second assumption is that you do have a WordPress website, obviously. Uh, and the third assumption is that you have the Facebook ads manager. Um, if you don't have it, if you're not sure if you have it, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. Just click on it, go and install the Facebook ads manager because this, this is how you're going to uh, create it for yourself. Now, here is a thing that sometimes happen is that people had a Facebook pixel installed on their website. Um, you know, two, three years ago by someone that worked in their company and they're not sure whether they do have it or don't have it. So there is a tool called the Pixel, Pixel Helper uh, and I'm going to put the link in the description. Just go right here. You can install that little Pixel Helper and what that Pixel Helper is going to do is it's going to add a little plugin right here in your Chrome browser or whatever browser you're using. And if you click on it, it will tell you if there is a pixel installed on that specific uh, uh, website. In this case, Antoine Dupont, my website doesn't have it. And if I'm going to go in Catapult Marketing, which is my agency, if I click on it, you can see that there's actually two pixel installed there. So that's a just really easy way for you to figure out whether you already have a pixel um, that was created in the past by someone else, uh, whether you need to create something new. All right, so now we are uh, inside of my uh, Facebook uh, page uh, for my personal brand, for, not for the agency. Uh, and because I have the Facebook ad manager, I click on the upper right hand side and then I'm going to scroll down to manage ads and I'm going to click on that. What that's going to do is it's going to open up the Facebook ads manager. And if I click on the little hamburger right here, uh, it's going to give me, um, you know, a menu with all bunch of options. But what I want to click on is events manager. It's in two spots. It's right here or right there. Either or is fine. You just click on that. Now that you are in the events manager, you see the little green button here that says Con connect data sources. Just click on that and it's opening up a brand new dialogue in a box. So there are three options for you to install a pixel, one which would be uh, for your website, one for an app and one for offline. So this is for a WordPress installation. So we're going to be picking web. This is the option we're going to we're going to click on that and click on get started. And now it opens up a new dialogue, which is going to ask us, do we want to create a conversions API or a Facebook pixel? So obviously we want to create a Facebook pixel. So we're going to click on that and click on connect. Now you get a new dialogue and it gives you the option to name your pixel because you can have multiple pixel for one website. So I'm going to call it AD pixel and then I'm going to skip on check your website for easy setup options. You don't need that for the purposes of this uh, tutorial and just click on continue. Now it's opening up a new dialogue and is giving you two options: install the code manually or use a partner. We're going to be doing this manually. Uh, there is a possibility to do it like this, but I know this way, which is actually is fairly simple. So let's click on install the code manually. And now you have a new dialog box that uh, opened up and is giving you the opportunity to copy the code. So the pixel is basically it's a little line of code. It used to be a pixel, actually an image or one pixel by one pixel, which is super tiny. But really what the Facebook pixel is, is a line of code. So uh, because it's it's fairly uh, big, you want to copy the entire thing and you just click on copy code. And next it gives you the instruction where to put that code. Code, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But it's basically saying paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section just above the open carrots forward slash head close carrot, which is the end of the head section of a website. And I'm going to show you where that is and how to uh, how to copy and paste it inside of it. 
So now I'm leaving the Facebook uh, pixel creation uh, dashboard and I'm going in the back end of my website. You can see this is a standard WordPress installation. We're using the Divi uh, theme for that website. And if you click on appearance, if you put your mouse over appearance, uh, it should open up a sub menu which starts with theme, customized widget menus, background, and then forms, and then theme editor. This is where we want to go. Now, one of the things I'm going to say about the theme editor is a lot of people will not have access to that because your webmaster is preventing you from having access to that. And for good reasons, because you can really screw up uh, a website royally by basically deleting or changing anything that is in the source code of your website. So if you don't have access to that, you should ask your webmaster to give you temporary access to it so you can change that. So now we are in the theme editor, which is where all the, the codes are, are installed. And on the left hand side, you're going to see multiple files that are basically the entire structure of your website. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the Heather dot PHP, which is usually where the head of the website is. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see like credits.md and then you're starting to see some PHP file. The comments are in there and there you go, header.php. So we're going to click on that. And now in this part of the website, is it's opening up the source code of your website where you're going to be pasting the um, the pixel, right? And as you can see here, it starts with and you have the head, which is the beginning of that head section. And if you scroll down, you're going to find the other, the closed head. So it opens up the head at the top and it closes it at the bottom. This is where it wants you to put the code. So what I do here is I put my cursor right before the head, right? I'm going to click enter three times. One, two, three. The reason why is because I'm putting space in between the line of code before and the head because I don't want to paste on top of it, I want to uh, paste it in between. So now I'm just going to move and put my cursor right smack in the middle and I'm going to um, right mouse click and I'm going to click on paste. And there is my script that I just copied from Facebook and I just pasted it in there. And then I can see that I still have this line of code. It's untouched. And then I have a little bit of space and then I have the head to close the head section. And now this is all I had to do. And I'm I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on update the file and I am done. This is it. The, the pixel has been created and now it has been added to your WordPress installation. Now, if you've used the pixel helper, like I'm suggesting, uh, you can go back to the website. You can click on refresh the website now that you've added the pixel code uh, to your website. And as it's refreshing, now I can go to my pixel helper and then sure enough, I'm going to click on that and boom, there it is. Now I know that I have the little pixel installed. Now I know that my website is communicating to Facebook and it's sending data to people that are visiting my website and now can serve them ads based on that criteria. All right, so now I'm coming back to the Facebook uh, interface of the installation and I'm going to click on uh, continue. Now you could, um, if you don't have access to uh, the source code of your website, you could email the instructions, you could create the Facebook pixel and email the instructions to your webmaster. And what it's going to do is it's going to give them the line of code through an email and tell them here, go and install it because your average web developer will know exactly where to put that information. But here we're going to click on continue. All right. So now you have the next dialogue, which is the automatic advanced matching. Uh, this is, uh, I would recommend that you do it. You just uh, click on turn on automatic advanced matching. What it's going to do is you can read it here. It's a use information that your customers have already provided to your business, such as their email address, phone number to match your website's visitors to people who are on Facebook. So it's a way to match your database of contact with who is on Facebook. So this is definitely something you want to do. So I'm going to, you know, just click on that. And then you have all that information here, email, first name, last name, phone number, gender, city, state, and zip code. If you have all information, if you don't have their gender information, just click on that and uh, it will remove it. But now you're going to be uh, in the last uh, phase and you're going to click on continue. 
And the last part of that dialogue is add events using events setup tool. So you can use the events setup tool to add standard events and parameters without the need to code. This is the easiest option to install pixel event. Um, so obviously we've done it manually, install it in the back of WordPress. So we're, we don't need um, uh, anything with and the last little window here, which is you can use this, uh, the event setup tool to add standard events and parameters without need to code. You can simply click on cancel. You are done with that and you should see your pixel now right here. Now your pixel has been created. The, the next thing you need to do is you need to create custom audiences and you need to create custom ads referencing the pixel so you can create an ad now specifically for people that have visited your website and you can retarget them you know, for 10, 30, uh, I believe it's up to 90 days you can retarget people that have been on your website and that's really an amazing way to generate more leads. All right, so that does it for today. If you got value out of this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up um, and obviously if you want more content like this that is helpful to help you grow your business through smart marketing make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing ciao